Amy's trimming the moringa. Mm -hmm. We trim the moringa it. back every winter and then dry it. Yeah. And I leave um, some of the stalk out because it will then sprout new stalks off of that. So I want to try to keep this maintained to where it's more of a like bush. a bush shape so i'm gonna leave these i'm gonna leave this one down here and that one down there because if i can get it to grow i can then cut it and i'll have i'll be able to you know grow more down down at my height at least <laughs> <laughs> and we just got it oh is the vertically challenge needing my help yeah well, because this one is kind of in the walkway, you know, when we come down, I want to cut it a little bit higher. I just wanted your opinion. What do you think? Yeah. three trees of moringa and I am now picking through some of the bad leaves and then bundling them up so I can hang them today and then that way they'll dry and I can have uh, get you uh, more moringa for cooking awesome she grinds it up real small once it's dry it makes moringa powder for me yep that way you can sprinkle it in the foods. Here's some of the moringa that Amy has drying. This is just one wall that we have it on. She's got it on a couple walls here. And she'll let this dry real, she'll let it dry down until it gets nice and dry. And uh, she grinds it up for me to powder. And I put it in just about everything that we cook from eggs to soups, stews, um, roast we use it on everything it's one of the most nutritious plants in the world so when you're cooking with it it's like cooking with a multivitamin you're just you're getting all these nutrients that you need and uh, that's how we do the moringa when it's dry maybe I can get her to do a video on how she grinds it up y'all have a great day remember to like and subscribe and grow something for your family mm -hmm.